Alright, what's going on y'all? So we are back using the Tinkaton team again. So I just, you know, I'm kind of circling back through my teams, right? Like we've already used every team at least once and technically I should probably think about transitioning over to using other people's teams. Uh, and I probably will do that for, for a good bit of the month, but, you know, we did have quite a few fun teams for this month, and why not go back and use some of them? So, we've got this Sneasler Tinkaton Grafii team, which has been able to do some really good things. Like, I definitely don't think it's perfect, but obviously, like, it's kind of a cheese team, so it's not gonna be perfect, right? Um... Honestly, like, Grafai Tinkaton can take care of quite a bit of threats on its own, which it doesn't always feel like a good lead, but, like, Knockout plus Yagaton Hammer can take out Ndidi, it can take out Furigraph, uh, and, you know, things that you would mostly be worried about trying to set up, right? So you can do that, and you also have the Swagger to deal with, uh, potentially Encoring, <laughs> you have the Swagger so you can Encore something, you have Encore, uh, so you can potentially encore something into Trick Room if you really don't want Trick Room up and kind of get out of the uh, out of it that way, right? Um, I did decide to bring Tornadus back in place of Rillaboom because it just seemed like there are some matchups where you do actually need to be even faster than you're afforded by uh, Sneasler with the Unburden. So, you know, sometimes the Tornadus is really nice and... If we really need to, we can also imprison Trick Room or just go Trick Room. So, yeah, a lot of really fun synergies with this team. We do have the Grass Terra Choice Scarf Urshifu as well, which is good for beating Moonness, as well as, I mean, just not dying from one Dazzling Blade, right? <laughs> but, you know, we're going to see what we can do with this team. And, uh, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, let's just jump. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. I'm gonna turn my face off for a second. I'm back. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we did not have the most fortunate start to this season. Sitting at six and six. Huh. Um. Hmm. Obviously, we can start Grafii, but, like, how far does it really get us, if you get what I'm saying? We can start Graf Gra Grafii Fluttermingus with Tinkaton of Bonks. We could actually just lead a Tinkaton of Bonks. Because... What I like about leading a Tinkaton of Bonks is that we can click Faint Dazzling Gleam right away. And we're not really pressured by extreme speed. So we Tinkaton of Bonk. And then... We bring... This. I am a little bit worried about Annihilate. And, uh, I don't really want to bring Torn in the back, but at the, at the moment it feels like the best. It's either Torn or Grafii. Like, I'm playing this one very out of sync with how I might usually play it. Um, but we're going to see. Ooh, we got my new card too. We got my new card. 
So I actually think Grafai wasn't a bad lead here. They do start Annihilate. We start to tink a ton of bonks. A tink a ton of bonks. I don't think this is a perfect play. I'm just concerned that I need to do this in order to take out Grim Snow. And to live a Rage Fist. They should not ever be terroring Grim here, and if they are, they're probably losing. So. Fire Terror. Yeah, okay, cool. I have Surging Strikes. So we tink a ton of bonks. They should go down here if they don't, that's tragic. Yeah. So we get rid of Grim. They do go for Rage Fist. We tink a ton of live. <laughs> If they bring out Chan Pao, that would be great. Actually, nah. Mr. Really Bing Booms himself. Ooh, the Really Bing Boom is making this a bit hard. <coughs> well, the good thing here is that... I can Gigaton Bonk them, and then switch into Squirshifu. It's just that if this goes wrong, it goes really wrong. So unfortunately, this is what I should have saved my. I should have saved my. Squirshifu Dark for. <laughs> That's his name, right? Squirshifu Dark. Uh. Okay. So. If you're my opponent, you have to switch out Annihilate here. Is my concern, right? So. I kind of think that I should play rough Rillaboom and Surging Strikes Rillaboom. The only concern is that if it doesn't KO, I probably just lose, right? So I kind of think that a better play would be to play rough Rillaboom and then switch back into Flutter. No way, dude. No way you just actually do that. Cause why? Like wh why? Uh, 
Alright, so unfortunately we're probably going to lose because my opponent should switch out, right? Like, tell me... We should lose though. Um We should lose this if we can't live the drum beating. And there's a really good chance that we don't, right? So actually switching back in Fluttermain was really, really costly in this case. And taking out the Rillaboom does make a difference, which is really good. Um The problem is that I expect them to have Champau. Or Dragonite. I mean, it's it's probably Champau. Yeah. So... I think I need to bank... I think I need to bank on them not going for Sucker Punch and or me living Sucker Punch. And I go for Tailwind and Play Rough. Live Sucker Punch. Okay, we win. At least we should. Because now that I did that, I can just faint. Right. Yeah, GG's. Whew. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, we almost lost. <laughs> We definitely almost lost, but we didn't. And my new card is looking great, I might say. We got such a good angle now on our rev of room. It's more zoomed out, you know? Good stuff. So we won with the Tinka Ton of Bonks. We almost threw. All right, Andy. Ooh, this is icky. <clears throat> so um, the problem here is that this is actually a tornado game, right? Because I need to keep up with the speed of their Chan Pao and likes, right? So I probably want to lead Torn Urshifu here. Because I can set Rain Dance, because I can set Tailwind, um, I bring Flutter in the back, and then I think a ton of Bonks is not that good here. Um, I think Sneasler actually looks really promising, so I'm gonna try to do that. I think Grafii has prospects, but it's like it's a little too passive, so. I think my ultimate goal here is probably going to be to either Tailwind Surging Strikes, uh, Rain Dance Surging Strikes. We're going to see, right? But fortunately, we did just enough damage in that last one.
So they do start to use Squarishifu, which I get. Um, they should almost definitely have like Grass Terra or something, right? However, this does look like a pretty good chance to just click Water Terra, or I mean Grass Terra Surging Strike, because like. You don't. You just don't heat wave here if you're if you're Chiyu. You you just don't like. So, I think this feels good. I know it doesn't look good. Um, in fact, the only way this is a good play is if they grass Terra, and even then, it's not that good of a play. <laughs> <laughs> if they ghost Terra, that's way better. Please ghost Terra. Ah! <laughs> I should have clicked Surging Strikes. It's fine. We click, we click Tailwind Surging Strikes. We click Rain Dance Surging Strikes. We get the KO. We actually don't even need to. We just click Surging Strikes next turn. That's amazing. I love that Citrus Berry. That Citrus Berry is the boy. Please don't click Heat Wave. U. M. F. Please click Terra Blast. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Why? Why does it do so much? <laughs> it did so much. It's so bad for me. Alright, well, they have to switch out Chiyu if they want it to live, which is good. They also have to switch out Urshifu if they don't have Sash, even though there's a really good... Well, it might not live. It really might not. So they do switch out Chiyu, probably into Torkoal. Flutermingus might not live. Yep. Goodbye. So this could be an amazing turn for me. Yes. Amazing. That should just be GG's right there. They should have Chiyu Torkoal in the back. We click Rain Dance. Yep, GG's. Assuming I have Rain Dance. Because, you know, we do need that. Nice. They actually might just cancel right now. But. Nice. Yes, this is going very well. <laughs> uh. Eruption. There. I just made a good play, my guy. I just made a good play. Sneezler's coming out. This is a Sneezler time. If they have Earth Power, click it, you know? If you have Earth Power, click it, my guy.
<laughs> oh, I wanted that so bad. I wanted that. Nice. GG's. GG's. I respect that. <laughs> That's how you really have fun. That's what you call the moral win. My opponent just got the moral win on me. They said, it's okay. My Torkoal is going to take itself out, thank you very much. I'm not giving you this one. <laughs> uh, big respect. And big GG's. Man, that card looks good. So that will put us back in the master tall master ball tier, fortunately. Master tall beer, as I was gonna say, I think. <laughs> uh. So yeah, it's we're not like crazy high in the ranks, but that is master ball. So I think a ton of bunks for master ball tier. And I mean, honestly, though, that Terra did win me the game, right? Like, if you really think about it, going for that Terra was the difference that made that. Um, because we lived their Terry Blunts, and then we forced them to either give up Chiyu or switch out. They chose the wrong thing. They should have switched in Torkoal. It just... Switching in... Um, Fluttermane wasn't the play, unfortunately, for them. So, this is another instance where I feel a lot more comfortable clicking Tailwind than I do just leading Grafii, unfortunately. So, I don't know if I'm going to lean into Grafii on this one. That being said, if I did lead a really good Tink Grafii, and get the chance to click, um, fake out the first turn. You know what? We won the first two very commanding. So I'll give you guys a little bit of cheese to say, hey, I don't know if we're going to win this next one, but we are going to have fun. Um, yeah, this isn't, this isn't really the right lead. So what I think was the right lead is Torn, Torn Ursh feels like they're baiting me into it. So I think Torn Flut or Torn... Gigaton Bonk. They do lead that, though. <laughs> Gigaton of Bonks. So let's... Let's swagger the Torn. And let's go for the Gigaton of Bonks. Okay. I think I can one-shot that. <laughs> Sorry. Damn it! No, I forgot what I was doing! <laughs> I forgot how it works. Uh... Uh, I forgot how to do it. Oh man, I messed that up. It's okay. I can probably kill them with play rough. Um, I'm gonna encore them. And then... I'm going to click... 
superhero. I messed that up, man. Good job. So unfortunately we don't get the KO there. Um, oof. I can get a double KO this turn. So, no I can't. Um, I think I can swagger myself. And then... No, I, no, 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 no. We... Yeah, I'm gonna swagger myself and Gigaton Bonk. That sucks. Okay, so I might lose. Um, I'm confident in my faint taking them out, which is really nice. So, at least there's that. Like, I can faint the Rillaboom, and then I can click a uh, Gunk Shot. I'm assuming that they're going to go for Tink, but I don't know. Ooh. That should lose us the game. Um... Especially if Grifai can't live this turn. I have to bring out Flutter. <clears throat> if I had Speed Booster Flutter, we would guaranteed win this. But because we don't, if they have Scarf Urshifu, we lose. So I have to bank on them not having Scarf Urshifu right now. So, I'm gonna gunk shot here. And... Yeah, I'm gonna gunk shot. And I'm gonna Terra D-Gleam. Because in the event that my Terra D-Gleam can, can one-shot them, and they're not faster than me, we should just win. But I'm almost guaranteeing that this is a Scarf Shifu. No, okay. Um, we might win this. Okay. There's a really, really good chance of us winning this now. So the Tinkaton of Bonks has come in clutch. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, dude. I, I made the wrong play and everything. <laughs> uh. I made the wrong play. I tried to call them switching out Rillaboom and they didn't. We're still winning. It's fine. <laughs> uh. They shouldn't quit though yet. They might. Um, they do Dazzling Gleam. That doesn't really do a lot, and then we just win, so. GG's. So there you guys have it. Um, I think we, we showcased this team really well today. I'm really happy with how these matches went, you know. Uh, sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to go back and use my more cheesy teams because I'm like, I'm like, am I just gonna like film a bunch of like trash videos and then be like, why did I even build that team? Like, <laughs> uh, but that was good. You know, obviously this team is like, it has a lot of inherent synergies and it can really catch the opponent off guard. And, um, we really got all of the, the team to shine in this one, I think. So really happy with how the, how this video went. Uh, definitely do consider sticking around, uh, if you are new to the channel with you know, leaving a like, comment, subscribe, you know, we appreciate you. Let me know if you've tried any of my teams for this month. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if you go on my channel, the main video that pops up is my, is my rental code video for the month. So, you know, definitely let me know what you think. Take, uh, check out my other teams and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy with how this one went, you know, so. Uh, let's check our rank again really quick. Yeah, we gained like a quick thousand. So let's just put on the outro. And yeah, have a good day, y'all. So. Hey, look, it's I'm still here. <laughs> Where's my face? There you go.